Welcome to the world of The Bionic Woman, a television series that captivated audiences in 1976 with its groundbreaking narrative and futuristic themes. As we explore this iconic show, consider this. What classic Hollywood actor from this series left an indelible mark on your viewing experience? Before we delve into your memories, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about The Bionic Woman. Created as a spin-off of The Six Million Dollar Man, the series follows James Somers, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, who undergoes bionic augmentation after a near-fatal skydiving accident. With superhuman strength and abilities, Jane becomes a government agent tackling espionage, science fiction, and the challenges of her enhanced life. Now, back to your reflections. Is there a particular scene or moment from the bionic woman that has left a lasting impact on you? Whether it's a thrilling action sequence, a poignant character interaction, or a surprising plot twist, we want to hear about it. As you reminisce, share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the rich tapestry of the Bionic Woman fandom, and we would love to hear them. Engage with us, relive those moments, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of the Bionic Woman. Your memories await. The Bionic Woman, a television series that aired from 1976 to 1978, emerged as a spin-off from the popular show The Six Million Dollar Man. Developed by Kenneth Johnson, the narrative centers around James Somers, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, a professional tennis player turned school teacher who undergoes bionic enhancements after a near-fatal skydiving accident. Equipped with extraordinary strength, speed, and enhanced senses, James is enlisted by the government for covert missions. The show masterfully blends elements of science fiction, espionage, and drama, showcasing James' struggles to balance her enhanced abilities with her everyday life. Wagner's portrayal of Jane, coupled with the show's groundbreaking use of bionic effects, captured audiences' imaginations and established the bionic woman as a cultural phenomenon. The series not only explored themes of identity and empowerment, but also contributed significantly to the evolving landscape of female-led action dramas. Its impact reverberates in popular culture, setting a precedent for strong, independent female characters in subsequent television and film. The Bionic Woman remains a timeless icon in the realm of classic television, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Super Jamie, as the Bionic Woman is known in France due to linguistic nuances, showcases the global impact of the 1976 TV series. The show's characters, James Somers and Steve Austin, earned a notable ranking, securing the 19th spot in TV Guide's list of the 25 greatest sci-fi legends. This recognition underlines the enduring influence of the bionic woman in the science fiction genre. Adding a touch of automotive trivia, James' choice of transportation, a 1976 Datsun 280Z, links the series to classic car enthusiasts. Notably, these Datsun models, now under the Nissan brand, remain popular among collectors. This automotive detail adds a distinctive flavor to the show's legacy. These facts, spanning linguistic adaptations, international recognition, and automotive choices, contribute to the multifaceted appeal of the bionic woman, solidifying its status as a classic in television history. The Bionic Woman, a groundbreaking 1976 TV series, holds a unique distinction in television history. Not only did it introduce the concept of bionic enhancements, but it also defied norms as the second network primetime production centered around a female superhero. This feat is underscored by the series achieving a remarkable five ranking in the Nielsen ratings, solidifying its impact on the small screen. As the show transitioned from ABC to NBC for its final season, it marked another milestone. Richard Anderson and Martin E. Brooks made history by becoming the first actors to portray the same characters on two different television series on two different networks. Their continued roles in The Six Million Dollar Man on ABC showcased the unprecedented crossover in TV history. These pivotal moments in the bionic woman's journey not only contributed to its success, but also shaped the landscape of television. From defying gender norms to navigating network shifts, the series proved its resilience and cultural significance. Lindsay Wagner's journey as James Somers in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman has roots in an interesting naming origin. 
The character's name, James Somers, wasn't just a creative choice. It was inspired by a real person. Kenneth Johnson, the producer, drew from his experience producing killer whale shows at SeaWorld, where he worked with a water skier named Jamie Summers. A real Jamie's approval of the name added a personal touch to the character. Wagner's involvement in the series took an unexpected turn. Initially slated to make just a single appearance on The Six Million Dollar Man as part of her contract with Universal, public demand altered the course of her career. The overwhelming positive response to Wagner's portrayal led to an offer for her own series, giving birth to the bionic woman and establishing a significant chapter in television history. This behind-the-scenes insight sheds light on the intriguing beginnings of the bionic woman, where real-world connections and audience enthusiasm played pivotal roles in shaping the iconic series. The journey from a chance naming inspiration to the unexpected evolution of Lindsay Wagner's role exemplifies the dynamic forces at play in the creation of this groundbreaking show. James Somers, the protagonist in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman, led a dual life as a schoolteacher. This unique blend of a mundane profession with her extraordinary bionic abilities added depth to the character. However, the show faced an unexpected pause during its first year when Lindsay Wagner, the actress portraying Jane, was involved in a car accident with her then-boyfriend, actor Michael Brandon. The incident resulted in Wagner sustaining a visible scar on her upper lip necessitating a two-week production halt for her recovery. This real-life event underscored the challenges faced behind the scenes, offering a glimpse into the human side of the iconic series. Interestingly, James' penchant for using Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs characters as code names, primarily opting for Dopey, added a quirky touch to the character's espionage missions. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the dynamic factors that shaped the bionic woman, blending real-world challenges with the fictional narrative, making it a fascinating chapter in television history. Lindsay Wagner's top billing in the Bionic Wedding TV movie reunion marked a notable shift in the series' dynamics. While Lee Majors enjoyed post-Bionic success with The Fall Guy, Wagner's career trajectory took a different turn. The intro credits, featuring stills and footage from The Six Million Dollar Man, The Bionic Woman, offered a unique perspective on James Somers' character introduction. Interestingly, before Wagner secured the role, Sally Field and Stephanie Powers were also in consideration. Field's potential casting would have carried the risk of typecasting, hindering her later Oscar-winning achievements. These behind-the-scenes glimpses reveal the intricate choices and paths that shaped the bionic woman, shedding light on its impact on both the actors' careers and the series itself. As we bid adieu to the realm of bionic wonders, take a moment to reflect on the timeless charm and indomitable spirit of the bionic woman. Let the echoes of the iconic 1976 TV series linger in the corridors of your memory, where the lines between humanity and technology blur into a tapestry of extraordinary tales. Perhaps it's the graceful strength of James Somers or the pulsating rhythm of the iconic bionic sound that still resonates within you. The adventures she embarked upon weren't just scripted narratives. They were journeys that stirred the imagination and left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Now, I invite you to unlock the vault of your own experiences. What memories of the bionic woman do you hold dear? Was it the thrill of the action sequences, the magnetic charisma of Lindsay Wagner, or the futuristic allure of bionic enhancements that sparked your imagination? Share your thoughts, weave your stories, and let the communal heartbeat of bionic nostalgia reverberate. In this space where wires meet warmth and circuits harmonize with sentiment, your reflections breathe life into the legacy of the bionic woman. Connect with fellow enthusiasts, swap anecdotes, and let the tales of bionic prowess unite us across time. As we conclude this journey through the bionic ages, I extend my gratitude for your time and unwavering interest. Your presence has added another layer to the intricate weave of bionic reminiscence. Until our next expedition into the realms of timeless television treasures, thank you for sharing this moment in the bionic embrace.